Welcome to Key Stage Wiki. What things do you eat? Humans eat lots of different foods that can come from many different places around the world. But what is the food actually made from? Most of the food we eat is made of either plants or animals. And this makes us part of a food chain. In this food chain, we can see that grass is eaten by cows and that cows can be eaten by humans. A food chain is important because it shows us how living things rely on each other for food. Let's look at another example of a food chain. In this food chain, we can see that grass is eaten by zebra and that zebra are eaten by lions. In this example, the leaves of an oak tree are eaten by caterpillars and the caterpillars are eaten by sparrows. Have you noticed how all the food chains seem to begin? The food chains have all started with a plant. What makes plants special is that they can make their own food. After the plant in a food chain, we have animals. Animals are living creatures that can move around freely and they need to eat other living things to survive. We are animals because we can move around and we need to eat living things to survive. Another example of an animal is an insect. It can move around and it also needs food to survive. So, in this food chain, we have a plant at the start, and then we have animals. But, what those animals eat is very different. The zebra eats plants, but the lion eats animals. We have special words for this. An animal that eats only plants is called a herbivore. While an animal that eats only other animals is called a carnivore. So what do we call an animal that eats plants and animals? Here are two food chains, including a bird called a sparrow. We can see in one food chain that the sparrow eats caterpillars. We can see in another food chain that the sparrow eats grass. When an animal like a sparrow eats both plants and animals, we call it an omnivore. An omnivore is an animal that eats both plants and animals. Here we can see that a squirrel is another example of an omnivore. We all know that squirrels eat nuts from trees, but they also eat insects like caterpillars. One of the most important things to get right in a food chain is the arrow we draw. The arrow shows us the direction of the food going into the animal that eats that food. Now, remember, when drawing your food chain, it doesn't need to be written from bottom to top. You can also draw it from left to right. The only important direction here is the arrows going from the food to the animal that eats that food. Luckily, you also don't need to be an artist when drawing a food chain. It's enough just to write the names of the living things with the arrows in the correct direction. Can you spot the error in this food chain? Pause the video now if you need time to look carefully. That's right, the arrows were pointing in the wrong direction. The arrows should always be pointing from the food to the animal that eats that food. The answers to the following questions are shown at the end of the video. 
See if you can write down your own two food chains using the examples. Pause the video now to give it a try. Sort these into two lists. One for all the plants and one for all the animals. Pause the video. Sort these animals, already shown to you in the video, into a list of herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Pause the video again. For more information on food chains, visit keystagewiki.com and for further videos, like the video and subscribe to this channel.